uh, we just discussed in the last uh, module on how to uh, get the customer to talk about his needs, understand at this time the role that the salesperson is doing is much more that of a storyteller, of a conversationist and they're making an intelligent dialogue with the customer to understand the needs. Now once uh, also understand that the needs of the customer evolves. Okay? So it's like you, uh, for an example, if someone sees one particular cellular phone handset, as you demo more of it, you will see that the customer is asking for something else more and more. Can I get something with a middle more megapixel? Is the voice quite clarity clear? Is there inbuilt GPRS? Do I have a Wi-Fi with that? Oh, I have a Wi-Fi, but other than Wi-Fi, is there something else so like that? What we call is that the next step of this whole thing, whole exercise is building the needs. Understand that the identification of the needs and building of the needs are iterative in nature. So as you build, customer will identify more needs. As you build more and more, the customer will add, identify more needs. So how, what helps you building is your knowledge on the product and customer requirement. Now, okay, now let me get to a, a simple exercise, uh, a simple example here. So you are, you are selling an automobile, a car, a uh, lower end to a customer. Um, who has learned driving and this is his first car that he's trying to pick up. So as you do the discussion, after some time, he's, you have understood you, through your questioning, you have uh, through your discussion, you have understood that he, this is his first car. So uh, you ask him a little about what more does he need to do with this car? Does he plan to go out for long drives or um, does he want to do at the stage prefer to city driving? What is his family status? Is he married, unmarried, with children? When you kind of understand a little more on this, you are able to, uh, through, through the process of building needs, your role is to do something extremely critical here, which is generate choices. Why are you building the needs? You are building the needs so that you are understanding little more about the customers, little more about what he was saying, building his trust, showcasing your knowledge, helping him realize that yes, you are the person who's going to be there with you and he can trust you. Now, when you are um, generating uh, and, and having understood all this, you are helping him generate choices. Remember, never in sales, you should give one option to a customer. Every customer loves to have choices. So you should give a choice one, you should give a choice two, you should give a choice three. Customer loves to choose. That's why you will see product manufacturers make so many variants. So what you do is that when you're talking to the customer, you have to be able to keep on uh, thinking as to what product or what service to offer to the customer. At the same time, you got to keep on understanding on the depth of research that he has done. For example, has he done some online surveys, or online studies, which most probably he would have done? Has he discussed with his uh, friends? which probably he would have done. Has he gone into some rating sites, which probably he would have done. Today a customer is very evolved and he has done a lot of uh, exercise before this. And maybe he has already gone into another dealership, which is offering the same product as you are. He's giving the same offering, same product, same company same model. How do you still generate choices for the customer so that he can trust you, you can build his needs and be able to offer. This is where, as we said earlier, the most important thing is the role of the salesperson. Salespeople who are unable to do this well, 
think that product is the most important thing you demo the product to him and the customer latches on but that's not the way it is done it is about understanding the customer needs so while marketing departments do a huge analysis while R&D and uh, marketing will do a huge analysis and they will figure design products understand that the sales department is largely about understanding customers on one-on-one -on -one basis understanding the needs and offering choices at times bundling products and services in this whole thing now when you when you understand this aspect of it and you have generated adequate choices throughout you're also building the need of the customer remember never generate a choice where you are weak or the competitor is strong so for example if uh, you are um, selling a, a handphone which has got very good connectivity for messaging purpose you have to accordingly ask the customer questions like you know when you are out of your work location do your do you need to depend a lot on your messaging system your emails you need to hook on and you keep on building that need rather than uh, and uh, rather than build a need like you know uh, do you need to take a lot of photographs well this cell phone has a 2 megapixel camera while well, wait hey wait don't develop a need for a customer where you are weak on a 2 megapixel camera might be a very weak camera so therefore it's important for you to be able to find out the right need of the customer and slowly create choices where your offering is good understand you are not cheating him you are not at all cheating him you are giving him the right product which your offering has that's not wrong that's absolutely right and there might be always no product can be there which can satisfy the customer requirement 100% because the customer needs also evolve over time so also always keep in mind that as you build the needs through conversation through intelligent dialogue you have to generate choices for the customer and in case the customer asks you that out of these choices that you're talking to me of which one is the best choice I should go for remember that means he's thinking don't give him a solution make him think understand before someone is spending his money to think a lot make him think help him think generate choices generate better choices generate better alternates focus on this part of the sale a lot more than what you would have done on any other parts this part is where everything hinges on you get this right the sale is yours it doesn't matter if another dealership is offering a little price here or there but if you get this price right this part of the sale right you will get the deal right so to know more to contact drop a mail to metl at contact metl at the rate metl.in